the pandemic i think many people have uh, found out alternate careers or remote careers for them and medical writing is one of them basically medical writing is of two types you can have regulatory writing and non regulatory writing. i have written blogs on liver health digestive health child care child nutrition herbal medicines men's health women's wellness senior care so all types of you know healthcare content for seniors Hello, Aslas. Welcome back to the another podcast. So today with us we have Sally Man, who is science content writer. So in this podcast we will be deep diving in her journey, and we will all familiarize with what is the science content writing, what are the future aspects, and how can one get into it. So welcome, Sally Man, to this podcast. Thank you so much, Amay. Um. So I would like to introduce you as well as the audience about the agenda of this podcast. So we will be deep diving in your journey, how you got into this, and we will be discussing various aspect of content writing. So whenever uh, any MBBS or life science student decide to get into this, so this uh, video will serve as guide for him or her, so he can uh, get a full fledged uh, all the details to start career in this. We will uh, this will be for those who are looking this as a side hustle, as well as for those who are looking this as a long term career goal. so this was the agenda of uh, the, this uh, session ma'am uh, i have just given a small introduction about you to our audience but i would like you also to introduce to our audience okay so first and foremost i think uh, thank you so much for inviting me uh, for this uh, interview and uh, i think you are doing a fabulous job uh, with med hustler because we need more people like you we need to you know really give out this information because uh, there are a lot of people even in my network or maybe even you know am around you there are people who are really not aware about alternate careers for them so i think med hustler is a fantastic platform which uh, anybody can make use of coming back to me uh, i work as a freelance science content writer and uh, currently i do have a day job as a training and development manager at nen lab and uh, i like most people uh, how they come into this particular field be it science content writing or medical content writing i also found it accidentally all right man thank you so much for the wonderful introduction also thank you for your kind words for appreciating my task hope it deserves the purpose so man we will be dive diving into the podcast now so the section of this podcast that is introduction to the medical writing like uh, there are uh, information available but the awareness among the students or uh, professional who are uh, looking to uh, pursue this as a long term career so there mm-hmm. is a gap the knowledge right so uh, i would like you to introduce what is medical writing so uh, in this first question i want to ask you can you share your journey into medical writing how did you start and what inspired you to pursue this path so uh, medical writing as the name suggest is when you are writing on any medical topic okay uh, now medical writing in general you can say is an umbrella term it's a it's a profession which has started you know booming right now and uh, after pandemic i think many people have uh, found out alternate careers or remote careers for them and medical writing is one of them as i said uh, earlier also like most medical writers i came into medical writing accidentally so uh, i will just cut the long story short uh, during the pandemic uh, i had a baby and i was not able to go back to my traditional lab role with colgate as a microbiologist so i kept doing my research like is there any remote work that i can do alongside my baby and that's how i discovered this science content writing medical content writing and uh, i was very active on linkedin so there was a job vacancy for a medical writer at a medical advertising agency and i just gave it a shot because the job role said that you needed to write long form articles on various health topics and i thought that okay as a microbiologist i have studied diseases immunology and all that so and also in 12th uh, we have a lot of biology so i think i can give it a shot and uh, after the initial interview they had an assignment so they made me write two blogs one was on liver health and one was something similar and they liked my assignment so that's how i got the role and it is in this agency that you know i really discovered the field of medical communications 
so in medical communications you do different kinds of medical content writing you can create blogs you can create case studies you can write short social media posts like that for linkedin you can write website content and so on so that's how my journey started i to came into this accidentally but what i found was that uh, i really enjoyed the work because you get to write on different different medical topics so it was really interesting because there are so many things that we as common people are unaware of now i am i was a microbiologist okay so i knew a lot about microbiology and my parents both of them are doctors so i have always you know been interested in biology diseases and all that but i never really you know took it up like okay if you fall ill you take this particular medicine and all that 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 is the normal route right but why you need to take one particular medicine why you need to take it after your meals some medicines why you need to take some medicines empty stomach right so all such uh, minute details i started to research and came to know only because i was writing on such topics right for example uh, when you as a woman when you are pregnant you cannot take certain medicines right why you cannot take then uh, you know all all such things that why you need to take care during your pregnancy after birth and all that so there are so many things even as a mother i came to know only because of uh, my job as a medical writer so i explore so many different topics and i always found them to be interesting also the flexibility that a medical writing career can offer whether you are doing it full time whether you are doing it part time whether you are doing it as a freelancer is is very very good so you can choose the hours you want to work right so with all these things i was inspired to you know be in this career uh, for the long term all right ma'am thank you so much for this insight so the next question i want to ask you what exactly does a freelancer medical writer do okay uh, see now freelancing is another is uh, is uh, you can say Uh, another cup of tea altogether and but still freelancing itself is a big topic medical writing uh, is a big topic so for anybody if you want to find out what a freelance medical writer does i will suggest that you do your own research because freelancing is a, a huge topic like i said so basically as a freelancer it's nothing but you work on your own terms right you are not bound to any one particular client or one particular company and medical writing is nothing but you are creating content you, you either you are writing the content or maybe you are designing the content on various medical topics so these can include health and various uh, health and wellness topics uh, diseases uh, something around vaccines and all that and as a freelance medical writer now you what can you do will also depend upon what are your interests what is your background right and what you would like to do for long term for example now uh, uh, as a medical student or as a doctor right you could be a gynecologist so you are dealing with women's health women's wellness right but do you like to write about it also or do you like to write about some other topic like say child care or men's health correct so this is what you need to do your own research and you first you need to write on different topics and that is when you will be able to say that okay i enjoy only these two types of writing right so as a freelance medical writer uh, if you are a doctor and you want to create content because say you are a gynecologist so now you are already very uh, uh, you are an expert in women's health wellness right so maybe you can create content on infertility conception pregnancy and all those things again maybe you enjoy writing long form content so maybe you can write for websites or you can write some blogs if you enjoy short form content maybe you can write social media posts or uh, you there are other for, other types of content also like content for website and all so you will have to you know do your research and find out what you enjoy doing based on that a freelance medical writer will typically you know create content for social media platforms for websites for uh, say for example there is a doctor you want to help you know he has his own clinic he has his own website so you can help him market his services so all such different kinds of writing a freelance medical writer can do all right ma'am thank you so much for this answer so another question i want to ask you ma'am 
so can you provide us some examples of different type of project that you have been working on and can you introduce our audience to the different verticals of medical writing great so uh, i personally have always enjoyed writing long form content so most of my uh, medical writing deals with writing consumer health blog so i have written blogs on liver health digestive health child care child nutrition herbal medicines men's health women's wellness senior care so all types of you know healthcare content for seniors uh, so this is something which i typically enjoy and i have done i have also created a lot of linkedin content for health and wellness brands and uh, as a science content writer uh, because i work for a cosmetics company i have also created you know uh, blogs for them cosmetic ingredient profiles uh, and all that uh, so uh, i think apart from this uh the different verticals of medical writing uh, there are many verticals now basically medical writing is of two types you can have regulatory writing and non regulatory writing so when you say regulatory writing you know it usually deals with uh, clinical study reports there are clinical studies which are going on right for different drugs so all kind of documentation which comes in that is usually regulatory writing because it is very very technical very professional right another area of medical writing is writing research papers research articles so uh, maybe you are you, you know you are a student you are a medical student who is you who is studying in a medical college your college is doing its own research so you can publish that particular papers right because there will always be some new therapy that you can come up with right for patients so you can publish a study on that so research articles and another major chunk of medical writing is the medical communications vertical so here all kinds of you know informal content uh, also comes so like i said you can uh, write the website content for pharmaceutical companies wellness brands uh, you can create marketing content like you know leaf behind leaflets lbls or continuous medical education cme slides right so all uh, there are different verticals of uh, medical writing all right ma'am thank you so much for uh, introducing our audience to the medical writing now moving to the another segment that is getting starting uh, getting started as a medical writer mm -hmm. so ma'am uh, how did you start freelancing as a medical writer and what were the initial steps you took to get into this uh good question ma'am again i will emphasize this fact that whenever you are starting something new please do your own research okay so many things you can easily google right and obviously there are experts in particular fields like uh, medical writing or science writing so somebody like me can obviously help you guide you and uh, there are videos by experts also so i think med hustler is a great platform where you can learn about what is medical writing how to get started and all that so do your background research try to find out whether okay this is something that you want to do apart from that uh, once you decide that okay this is something you want to explore talk to people who have already done this so talk to medical writers or uh, science content creators like how they started what steps they took have some strong networking use uh, good platforms like linkedin linkedin i think is a uh, is the number one professional platform and it is a gold mine for networking i think most of my clients have come from linkedin so do your own research uh, do networking uh, talk to people who are already in this field and you get an idea about you know what you can also do and uh, when i started out as i said you know i accidentally got that role in a medical advertising agency and i was exposed to the different forms of medical writing so even when i left that particular agency i knew that okay maybe i can try freelancing and i, I can work part time in this particular area and then i you know started to use linkedin to find clients to learn about you know what exactly the client needs and how i can step in and help them with the content so these are a few initial steps that i did uh, because i was already uh, i had worked in that agency i knew a lot about you know medical writing then but if you're just starting out if you're a beginner i think watch a lot of videos on medical writing there are some 
uh, great medical writers, uh, both internationally and uh, Indian creators. So I think Virginia Chachati is a pharmacist. Uh, she has her own platform called as Right Clinic. Uh, I will put some links to uh, some of the resources and videos in the chat box. And I think, Amaya, you can share with the audience. Uh, there is another pharmacist. Uh, known as Alex Ivan. So, you know, these people, they have their own YouTube videos. They have their own courses on medical writing. Uh, there are a few Indian medical writers. Uh, uh, there is Dr. Anand Devasthanam. He's a very popular medical writer in India. Uh, there is Mr. Manoj Yadav, who is uh, a pharmacist, and he also has his own YouTube channel. So these people, uh, you know, have put out a lot of resources for beginners as well as uh, you know, somebody who is uh, an advanced professional in medical writing. So you can obviously check all of these and you can get an idea about the medical writing career and how you can start out as a freelance medical writer. All right. Man. Thank you so much for this wonderful insight. So the next question I want to ask you, what essential skills and qualification should a medical student develop to become a successful medical writer? Okay. Uh, I think because you are a medical student yourself, so the technical skills you already have, right? Uh, you are you you are going on to become a doctor, so you already know the in and out of the disease and the anatomy and all that. So technical part you don't need to worry, but communication skills uh, definitely you need to work on, because frankly, based on my personal experience and my this is my personal opinion. Uh, which I think most people will also agree to be a good content writer or to be a good medical content writer, you need to have very good communication skills, be it uh, the verbal skills or the writing skills. If you do not have good communication skills, you may not be able to, you know, uh, really go ahead in this career simply because see, uh, even as a freelance medical writer or as a medical writer in a company, unless you understand what your client is expecting from you, you will not be able to deliver, right? Similarly, whatever type of content that you're creating, you usually have to you know, break down the complex medical scientific concepts into easy to understand content, right? Because uh, sometimes your audience is the common people, right? So uh, you cannot use any medical terminology or jargons, right? For example, you cannot use words like edema, Okay, because common people may not understand it. Doctors will understand it. So you have to either avoid the medical terms, which is known as jargon, or simply you can write the medical term and in the bracket you can explain what it is. Right. So these are some few things that you need to understand how to simplify the medical concept. You need to have good communication skills. Uh, you need to have good observation also because many a time, you know, when the client is telling or he's sending you some brief, you need to identify, okay, whether this brief, brief is nothing but basically the project uh, document which the client is giving you to work upon, right? Say, for example, I'm a uh, wellness nutritional supplement brand and I want you to write blogs on my wellness supplement, right? But sometimes I will not give you the complete details, like who is the target audience? So you as a writer or as a medical writer can point out that what is your target audience? You have not told me that. Should I write for doctors? Should I write for nurses? Or should I write for the common people? So I think being uh, a bit observant, being proactive, having good communication skills, and of course, technical skills uh, as a MBBS student, you will have. So you can work on these few skills and get started. All right. Thank you so much for this insight, ma'am. So there might be any specific certification or courses that had helped you to get into medical writing. So can you tell our audience about this? 